The Incas were the largest empire of the pre-Columbia era for the Americas. Although much of the information from this time period coming into today is considerably fragmented, there are some things that remain. Today, I ask the question, who is Coni Raya? Coni Raya is a deity of ancient Incan origins and is primarily denoted as a lunar deity. This, however, only speaks to his nature and not the full extent of his exploits. With origins so ancient and obscure, especially by the erroneous interpretations of colonizers, the information surrounding him can at some times seem muddled and confusing. However, with a bit of digging and cross-checking, there are a few things that can be discerned from this information. Koni Raya was very notable for being a trickster deity, even going so far as to claim himself to be the Incan creator god known as Viracocha. The two are, however, very often associated with one another. Viracocha was said to have created the earth, the sun, the moon, and all living beings. Koni Raya, though, was said to have spoken into existence all of the villages, the fields, and the iconic terraced hillsides. Koni Raya is attributed to being a formidable creator himself, if not the supreme creator deity. Koni Raya was attributed to having taught the Incas the use of technology such as aqueducts and is associated with rainfall and other forms of moving water in the world. There is even mention of him holding back the rains in anger at the mortals for forgetting to revere the gods and leaving them with only rivers and lakes for a time. He was a deity of great wisdom and cunning, as well as being associated with fertility and the animals of the wild, taking on their many forms as he so pleased to carry out his tricky schemes. Being a trickster deity, he was able to change his form at will and quite often. However, he is known for appearing as a ragged and tattered old vagrant so that he could move among the men and women of Earth and see how it was that their lives were unfolding. There is a tale of Koni Raya that he is considerably well known for in his dealings with a virgin goddess. One day, while Koni Raya explored the Earth as he so loved to do, he came upon a beautiful young woman sitting at the base of a Lukma tree, weaving this or that by herself. Koni Raya was smitten with the woman and sought to gain her attention, affections, or in some tales, to have her as his own. He changed himself into a beautiful bird and flew to the top of the tree above, where the woman sat below, tending to her task. From there, he could see that she was in fact Kaviaka, a virgin goddess who was admired by many gods far and wide. Koni Raya took his own semen, fashioned it into a fruit, and dropped it on the ground within reach of the young woman below. Upon seeing the fruit, Kaviyaka was delighted and gobbled it up immediately. Having eaten that fruit created by Koni Raya, Kaviyaka became pregnant and within nine months conceived a child, a son to be precise. She knew not who the father of her son was, nor even how she had come to conceive seeing as how she was a virgin. She was in fact somewhat furious about these circumstances and demanded that the gods assemble to declare which of them was the father of her son. Many gods were delighted at the opportunity to gain her favor and showed up dressed and adorned in their bests. However, when Kaviyaka demanded to know which of them was the father, none of them would step forward. And Koniyara dressed in his general vagrant garments, was barely even noticed. When Kaviyaka was unable to determine who the father of her child was, she decided to take matters into her own hands. Somewhat. <laughs> she decided that she would let the child tell her. She placed the child on the ground and declared that the boy would undoubtedly crawl to the feet of his father. When the child did just that and ended up happily resting upon the feet of the ragged and dirty Koni Raya, 
Hayaka was horrified. She could not bear the thought that a goddess such as herself had bore the child of such a disheveled and low status man as the one she now saw before her. She grabbed up the child and fled with him, attempting to escape her perceived shame. Koniraya changed his appearance into that of a handsome man dressed in golden robes, but it was too late. Kaviyaka refused to turn her head back and look upon him, and only ran faster and faster away. Koniraya quickly sought after her, and at times lost sight of his quarry. He stopped to ask various animals along the way to assist him in his pursuit. Some were of help, such as the condor, whom he blessed. Others were of little to no help, such as the fox, whom he cursed. Koniraya never did catch up to Kaviyaka in time. She had fled all the way to the ocean shore in desperation to escape the ragged beggar of a man. And there she turned both herself and the boy into stone. The Incan gods of old have very few worshipers today or even any that know that they exist. With Koniraya's nature taken into account, it is quite likely, although ultimately unrevealed, that he has taken up mortal form to walk among the men and women of the earth, as he always so loved to do.